viewers this is Sarim Khan and today I again have some very interesting news for you to tell. Do you know Unacademy is having all India championship test called Unacademy Ascent. This is a championship for all the fellow students from class 6 to class 12th. This is a live quiz on 1st November at 11 a.m. for one hour. The, and the syllabus is NCRT which you can study on Unacademy application. 6 to 10 kids will have 40 questions while 11 to 12 students will have 60 questions and you can even win a scholarship up to 5 lakh rupees I have already registered there and there are only 3 day, more days left so if you have to register then you can get all the links in description below see you there and let's begin our today's question and today again I am going to solve a question based on dimensional formula so today our question is asking to us that the force of attraction between two atoms is given by f is equals to alpha beta exponential bracket minus x square divided by alpha kt and bracket close where x is distance k is Boltzmann constant and t is temperature and alpha and beta are constants then the value or we can call that the dimension dimensions of beta are first option is mlt per minus 2 then is m per 0 l square t per minus 4 and finally after that is m square l t per minus 4 and our final option is m square l square t per minus 2 we have to solve this problem so let's begin this uh, solution its solution but before that let me tell you that this question was asked in j main 2020 on 11 january in second shift so let's begin our solution Okay, so let's begin our solution. Then first of all, what equation has been given? It has been given that f is equals to alpha beta exponential bracket minus x square divided by alpha kt bracket close this equation has been given let me define the terms again to you f is the force of attraction between two atoms latter alpha and beta are the two constants exponential minus x square here x is our distance alpha since we know it is constant k is boltzmann constant and t is temperature now we have to solve it we have to find out the dimensional formula for beta so let's find out first of all since we know that if you have studied concept of dimensional formula then you surely know that exponential is always dimensionless so it is very nice hint to this question that since we know it is exponential this term is exponential of minus x square divided by alpha kt okay implies that the okay exponential of minus x square divided by alpha k t this is it is equals to its dimensions are equals to what m per 0 l per 0 and t per 0 okay since we know it is dimensionless of course it is dimensionless because it is exponential any exponential is always dimensionless so its dimensions are m per 0 l per 0 and t per 0 and by this we can find out the dimensions of alpha but we have to find out of beta but for beta just like this value we need to remove for dimensions then we can call the that the dimensional formula for beta will be equals to the that of force divided by that of alpha so for this we require of force and alpha to find out of beta force every student knows mlt per minus 2 but alpha how to find out since alpha is a constant what is the dimension of this constant we can easily find through this equation only then minus x square divided by alpha kt will be also dimensionless according to this then 1 by alpha kt 1 by alpha kt will be equals to what it will be equals to 1 by x square as this x square will go here of course since we know here 0 is according to this this will go here implies that the 1 by alpha is equals to kt divided by x square now since we know we need the dimensional formula for alpha not 1 by alpha so implies that the alpha is equals to its reciprocal also x square divided by 
KT. This is now according to this we can easily solve but let me tell you that KT dimensions are same as that of energy. Since we know K is Boltzmann constant up to now it is unknown for us but what is the dimensional formula for Boltzmann constant. So let me tell you there is no requirement of its dimensional formula. Only we need to know that Boltzmann constant dimensions into the dimensions of temperature is equals to the dimensions of energy. According to this implies is that the dimensions of alpha will be equals to this is distance so l square divided by kt means ml square t per minus 2 as this is of energy l square and l square cancelled which is equals to m per minus 1 t square this we got it means that the dimensional formula for this alpha is m per minus 1 and t square according to this now question is very easy for us directly in one line we can solve this like implies that the alpha is uh, dimensions for f is equals to for uh, that of alpha times of beta this we can write this alpha will transfer here implies that the dimensions of beta will be equals to force divided by alpha this we can which is equals to what since for, for force it is ml t per minus 2 so ml t per minus 2 divided by what we have found m per minus 1 t square so m per minus 1 t square this we can easily solve and finally this will transfer up so n so will come uh, m square then l will come and after that finally t per minus 4 so m square l t per minus 4 final value we got finally the dimensions of beta are m square l t per minus 4 first option since we know it is m l t per minus 2 it is totally wrong second is m per 0 l square t per minus 4 this is also wrong third is m square l t per minus 4 the same value we have found it means that this option c is absolute correct implies that c is the correct answer means in this equation where the f denotes the force of attraction between two atoms in this equation f is equals to alpha beta exponential minus x square divided by alpha kt the dimensional formula for beta is m square lt per minus 4 and since this video isn't ended up to now i'm going to again solve once more dimensional formula questions okay that will be for the epsilon naught so first of all let me erase this Okay, so let's move to our next question and our next question is asking to us that let epsilon not bracket epsilon not bracket close denotes the dimensional formula for permeativity of vacuum. If m is equals to mass, l is equals to length, t is equals to time and a is equals to electric current, then okay, the since we know up to here our question is this was asked in J mains 2013. And here our options are the dimensions for epsilon naught are m per minus 1 l per minus 3 t square a then is epsilon naught is equals to m per minus 1 l per minus 3 t per 4 a square and after that c is epsilon naught is equals to m per minus 2 l square t per minus 1 a per minus 2 and our last and the final option is epsilon naught the dimensions of epsilon naught are m per minus 1 l square t per minus 1 and a squared. So first of all let's begin our solution for our, this question. Okay, so since from here we have to solve, we have to find out the dimensional formula for epsilon naught. We do not have the idea whether what is the dimensional formula for permeativity of vacuum or we can also call it as permeativity of free space. So we have to just find it out. How we will find it out? So there is very simple formula. Let me tell that formula to you that f is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught times q1 q2 divided by r square okay this is very important formula f is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught times q1 q2 divided by r square so if we want then according to this formula already very easily we can solve this problem since we know epsilon naught is already here and force dimensions everybody know q1 q2 charge dimensions everybody know and even distance dimensions everybody know only we do not know of epsilon naught so using this formula we can easily find out let us try how 
implies that if we uh, have to find out the dimensional formula for epsilon naught then we need the equation for epsilon naught from here we can drive easily so implies that the epsilon naught will be equals to what uh, what it will be equals to q1 q2 divided by 4 pi fr square 4 pi f r square this will be of course this will be and according to this given equation very easily we can solve only what we have to do since we know we have to put the okay values in this the dimensions in this implies that the dimension of epsilon naught will be equals to for q1 q2 since we know for q for q so just like if we want then we can also erase this one or two to not be confused but here they are actually to differentiate q1 q2 between two different charges charges two different charges so for one charge it will be what 80 for another charge 80 so 80 into 80 that is 80 whole square that is a square t square so epsilon naught is equals to a square t square now divided by 4 pi since we know 4 pi is totally a pure number and pure numbers are always dimensionless so its dimensions we do not have to take now for force we already know every student know and for distance also we, every student knows so which is equals to ml t power minus 2 times okay since we know this is for force 4 pi we are not writing it is dimensionless times for r square r is distance then r square is distance square that is l square this we have now according to this very easily we can solve we have to solve this expression which is equals to a square t square divided by this will multiply in this then ml cube t per minus 2 this we have now only we have to take this to up as numerator then with it will happen which is equals to m per minus 1 l per minus 3 t per 4 a square this we got so finally what we got that the dimensional formula for epsilon naught or we can call the dimensional formula for permeativity of free space or vacuum is m power minus 1 l power minus 3 t power 4 times the a square uh, okay now here we have to match first is dimensions of epsilon naught are m power minus 1 l power minus 3 t square a this is wrong so this we can cross now epsilon naught is equals to m power minus 1 l power minus 3 t power 4 and a square since we know it is matching to our solution and others since we know this is also not matching and this is also not matching hence option b is the absolutely correct answer so finally we got what we got that the dimensional formula for permeativity of vacuum is m power minus 1 l power minus 3 t power 4 and a square so this is our final last answer that is is option number b is the correct answer so this was my today's topic based on the dimensional formulas thank you